In this video, we get Azure scheduled events from the Instance Metadata Service. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and this is Seraltos. I'm working on monitoring events with a couple Windows Virtual Desktop session hosts and came up with a script I want to share. The script is used with any Azure Windows VM to gather schedule events from the Azure Instance Metadata Service. It then sends the data to Log Analytics where it can be queried or used to generate alerts of scheduled events. Before we get started, please take a second to like, share, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Twitter. If you'd like to learn more about Windows Virtual Desktop, check out my course Zero to Hero with Windows Virtual Desktop on udemy.com. The link is below. I did a video a while ago on two IP addresses you should know about when working on Azure VMs. One of the IP addresses was the Instance Metadata Service, also known as the IMDS. I'll include a link to that video below. The IMDS is an API endpoint exposed to each Azure VM at the IP address of 169.254, 169.254. We can use that endpoint to gather a lot of useful information specific to that host and the Azure service. One piece of information is the Azure schedule events for that VM. For example, maybe there's an underlying host issue and the VM needs to be restarted or redeployed. This would be exposed by the schedule events. My goal is to track these schedule events and alert on them in Log Analytics. To do this, I created a script that uses PowerShell to query the IMDS. Then it uses a Log Analytics function I created a couple years ago to send the results to Log Analytics. The IMDS endpoint is only exposed to the Azure VM, and that brings me to the downside of the solution. It has to run on the VM in Azure, and it will only report on data for that VM. I set this up as a scheduled task on the VMs that I'm monitoring. Obviously, that wouldn't scale well, but for troubleshooting or to get a sample, it worked. Timing is important. On the screen is the event type and the minimum notice for each. So if we were querying every five minutes and it takes a minute or two to get that data into log analytics, that doesn't leave us with a lot of time to react. This is a minimum notice. The actual time could be longer. For example, if Microsoft predicts a host failure, they'll try to give up to seven days notice so we can redeploy the VM at a time that works best for our organization. The script we'll go over is available at the GitHub link below. Let's take a look at the script and the information it collects. Here we are in VS Code looking at the script. I have the typical comments and disclaimers at the beginning. Let's scroll down to the variable section. We need three pieces of information for the script. Type is the name of the custom log the data will go to in Log Analytics. After that is the customer ID. Uh, that's the ID of the workspace that we're sending the log data to. And the shared key is what authorizes the script to write to that workspace. After that is the write log function. This requires three parameters. These can be found after the comments. It requires the date and time, the type, that again is the custom log name, and then a hash table of the data that we're going to log to Log Analytics. After that, the function formats the data for Log Analytics Log Collector API and then sends it to the workspace. At the bottom is the script execution. Here's what it runs. We set the URI for the IMDS endpoint schedule events. Then we invoke the REST method to get the schedule events. That comes back as a PS custom object. The VM host name is added as another member to that object. The data has to be in a hash table format to get passed into that function. So the data from the PS custom object is added to a new hash table. Last, we get the current date and then pass in the date, the type, and the data to the function. I added this script to a scheduled task that runs every five minutes on an Azure VM to collect the data. Let's go over to the Log Analytics workspace next. Here we are in the Log Analytics workspace. If we go under Log Management, Custom Logs, here we can see the custom log that we created from that script. We can view the data that's collected by this first query. This returns all of the events over the past 24 hours. We can drill down to see them. Notice when we're looking at the data, the events field is empty. 
The next query pulls back all of the entries where the event field is not empty. I'm going to change this to the last week and run it. Now we can see the event is listing a schedule event. It shows a reboot and under description, virtual machine is going to be restarted as requested by authorized user. So I simply issued a shutdown command on this VM and that got logged. I'm going to go back uh, the past month And we'll run this again. Here's one that was triggered last month. Here we can see that the event type is a freeze. And under description, the host server is undergoing maintenance. From here, we can set up a new alert rule. And that will walk you through a wizard to set up a new alert. I have that set up and here on the screen, I'll show you what it looks like when I got that alert. So here at least I knew that there was a freeze that was going to happen and if there was anything going on or we experienced any problem at that time, I could know that it might be due to that freeze. That's how to set up the logging script and query or alert for scheduled events. The script is available on my Windows Virtual Desktop public repo. I'll include the link below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.